Hi everyone, LP here, and as you can see, I'm at the range. It might be hard to see, but that's actually like a, there's 50 yards, there's 100 yards. And so I'm at the range, but uh, uh, my partners, they were able to make it, but it was kind of more of a walkthrough because I'm the new guy. Uh, and I thought it more important instead of shooting to actually do something more productive, like like measure this range, like set up some left and right uh, uh, lateral limits. Uh, to uh, to actually show the limits of the range to the persons who are shooting. Here you go. There's our shooter bench under that tarp. And um, I thought it was important to do that, so I did that. But then I was like, you know what? I got to make a video for you guys. I can't just I can't just leave you hanging. So one of the things that I actually bought was this brand new. Uh, where is it at? This is a brand new Rescue Rhino first aid kit. We're gonna crack that open for you real quick and show you what's inside of it. Maybe we'll give it away. We'll see what happens. Stick around to the end. You might get lucky. So, as I said, this is Rhino Rescue First Aid Kit. I believe this is actually kind of a, uh, what do we got here? This is the Rhino Rescue Survival First Aid Kit in green. In green, guys. Uh, the plastic, I love it for the shipping. That's great. But after this, we won't ever need it again. So, don't worry. I won't lit litter. I'll pick this stuff up. It's got its, uh, its main strap that keeps it connected or connected to actually the grab back. This is a Velcro grab back. You would, you would like molly this up to something of yours if you wanted to and then you pull off that and then you can literally actually just grab the whole thing and pull it away as long as that strap isn't in the way you can like just pull it away most of these kits it's pretty common this one is actually very well built i'm surprised there's double uh there's double stitch threading along the inside of the molly seam which is really cool all right so what, what we got up here we got a fancy dancy rhino rescue what is this rhino rescue be prepared Got me a little QR code to go to Rhino Rescue. Guys, hit that. I am not an affiliate from Rhino Rescue, so that's your decision. If I find, I did buy this on Amazon, so I may give you a link below if you want to buy it. Uh, let's see. The zippers are not in the right place, but that's okay. We can fix that because the idea is is that we can go yeah, like that, and it opens right up. So let's go ahead and open it right up and see what we got here. Everything is very organized. Wow. Very organized. I almost don't want to open this bag. Uh, it looks like it's a Ziploc bag. Wow, okay. Let's set that to the side. We will open it, guys. Don't worry, we'll open it. We'll, we'll stick with the, the container first. And then what do we have in here? Uh, just grab it all and pull it all out. There's a lot of stuff in this little bag. Wow, I'm very, I'm very surprised. Okay, so, uh, you know, obviously we set it up by putting the different things in there. Maybe we'll do that afterwards. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and set the bag to the side because the bag's not important right now. All right, so what do we got here? We've got... Um, uh, triangular bandage. This is good for fixing the old slinging those wounds. What do we got over here? Oh, we got a set of, set of neutral gloves, powder free, latex free, Aquel one pair. Uh, I don't know what size they are, but most of the time they're mediums. I don't oh, medium. Okay. We got our emergency blanket kit. This everybody knows what this is. This one just happens to be green on the outside and silver on the inside. We got our wound plasters. That's, that's interesting. A wound, wound plaster, wound, wound PF plaster, <laughs> fence mitt power plate. I don't know what the hell this is. This is, uh, um, I guess, band-aids. I guess uh, these are super band-aids. Uh, if someone can tell me what a wound plaster is uh, in the comments, that would be super great. Well, uh, let's see here. We got uh, dry burn dressing. You know, obviously, uh, this is dry. And uh, let's see, dry burn dressing. How do we use it? It does not say. Uh, I'm going to bet that we put it... That we get it wet. That's what I'm going to guess. That we get it wet. Okay, we have a wound compress. We're running out of space here. I'm going to have to do this in segments. But another wound compress. More wound compress. This is basically gauze. Is what do we have? These are five millimeter by five. Uh, I'm sorry, centimeter by centimeter. And this one is a ten centimeter by ten centimeter. So basically for small wounds. We got ourselves some. Uh, it's, I don't know if you can see the lines in it or not, but basically some. I hate to say it, but probably, I don't know. I, I guess this is good enough moleskin. I don't, I'm not a fan of moleskin. I use something else. Uh, we've got our scissors, medical scissors, which I would definitely, they say Rhino Rescue on them, super duper, but I would definitely switch these out for higher quality scissors if you get the opportunity. Um, this is a plastic bag. I guess this, uh, my guess is that because there's no labeling on it, it looks like, uh, like a, a plastic um, rain jacket, rain protection. We got we got a wound compress, 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter. We'll put that over here. What do we got? Now we've, we're into the piles. I feel like I'm playing cards. We got the alcohol pads. 
a lot of alcohol pads. Uh, antiseptic swabs, BZK antiseptic swabs, that's good. We got some sting relief, we got a soap wipe, and we got some burn gel. Okay, that's all the interesting stuff. Let's see what we got over here. We got a first aid manual. Uh, let's see here. Assessing the situation. Minor first aid situations, minor trauma, or emergency trauma, weather related situations. All right, so uh, definitely take a good look at this. Uh, it doesn't look like it's super great, but uh, it does tell you the tools that you'll need to fix these problems. And hopefully you have them, because we still have a whole other set of gear to go through. So let's, uh, let's just go ahead and move this out of the way and see what the other bag is. So the next pouch we're going to open is, is the very front pouch. When I open this up, it was all there. It's in this Ziploc bag. Hopefully I'll be able to get it back in. Some of the stuff I may put inside of the molly strapping, but we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll pull this out little by little and see what is what. We got ourselves a nice little whistle. I don't want to blow it because people might come running. All right, you slackers, listen up. Did you know that we actually have a shoot, no shoot expert who's going to be speaking at Prep Stock? He's one of our lecturers, and he's going to tell us all about how to how to do the things that we're supposed to be doing lawfully with our firearms, situations, and things of that nature. So if you have got your tickets for Prep Stock 2024, Nebo, North Carolina, 12th through the 13th of October this year, the sky is not going to fall. You're going to survive. The world will continue to spin. Go get them now. Link in the description. CPR mask. That's... That's interesting. I'd be interested in seeing what how well that thing works out. Uh, the uh, the wire saw that works one time. The chem light from China. It doesn't look like the ampule is broken. So uh, yeah, I don't know how long this will last. I like to replace it with the 12 hour lights. What is this? Let's find out what's in this little box. Oh, little knife. Okay. It's got a little clippy clippy on it. No real tools around it. Rhino Rescue is on it. It has oil on it. That means it will rust eventually. Uh, it's semi-sharp, I mean, for a knife. It is It is what it is. Um, that's about how big it is. Uh, a tool is a tool, guys. Uh, and then let's see if I can figure out how to how to close this knife. Because, or it doesn't even, it doesn't lock, guys. This knife does not lock. So, thank you, Rhino Rescue, but a um, little bit more effort on this one. It doesn't lock. It's kind of useless to us, but, I mean, it'll cut stuff. Moving along, what do we got here? We got ourselves a little bit of medical tape. All these labels really make it easy to make videos. You know that, right? There you go. All right, we got AR, our safety pins, which every kit should have regardless. They're just good for a little bit of everything. What do we have down here? We have ourselves a, a flashlight and it's protective. All right, what do we got here? Um, oh, you can adjust its diameter. The actual, it's, it's adjustable. Uh, looks like the button's on the side, but I don't have any batteries for it. What's it take? Let's let's see what kind of let's see what's on the inside of this bad boy. All right, so that probably shouldn't have happened, but uh, this is likely just to replace. I don't know. <laughs> this is this is um interesting how this just happened. Rhino, I, I don't know what I don't know what happened, man. But um, I'm just gonna go ahead and push this back together, um, and hopefully the flashlight works. I won't say that it's bad or good. I can say that it's light, that it is metal. Uh, and I don't know what this little flippy thing here is for. It doesn't make any sense to me. But uh, obviously, these are going to be triple A's, three triple A's uh, in the battery pack. So uh, maybe I'll, maybe when I when I post this, I'll probably put a note somewhere in the in the chat saying, "Yes, I figured out what these things are." Uh, uh, this is some kind of battery protector. If you look right there, I, I don't understand how it could possibly work, but it is what it is. All right, um, got another cam light. And we got some zip ties. Uh, these are these are okay, but they're small. I, I think I would probably replace these with a little bit bigger ones. Uh, medically, I don't know how I would use a zip tie this small medically, but I mean it could be something. We got our tweezers. These are do they have? Ah, got this little thing on them. Um, they are. I mean they're tweezers, but uh, the one thing I notice is they have very little gripping. If you look on them, they should be little notches. You see, they should, those should be just a little sharper. Uh, they're they're not really going to do a lot. I don't know if these will even be good for pulling out splinters, but they're tweezers. They're tweezers. We got here. We got the handy dandy, my personal non-favorite. Come here, plastic. Get out of there. I hate. I hate. Well, it's, there's not a lot of plastic in this one, so it is what it is. 
Uh, obviously, we have our little compass, our whistle, and our uh, fer ferrocene rod that uh, will likely never work properly enough to save our lives. Um, so, it is what it is. I would replace that with something else. It's just taking up space. But, well, look, there you go. They gave us a real ferrocene rod. Um, I don't know if I could use my knife on this, but I don't care. Let's go ahead and use it as they intended. Let's get all, get the, there it is, protective coating off of it. It's making some baby sparks, guys. It's nothing magical. There we go. Don't use that end. Use this end. Use the flat end. Okay, so not bad. Not bad. All right, what do we got here? Um, Elastic bandage. Yeah, I guess that's useful. Here you go. I guess that's useful. It is a, um, it doesn't say. It doesn't say what it is. 7.5 centimeter by 4.5 centimeter. Uh, and then we have the elastic creep bandage. These things are super useful because you wrap them. You can do a lot of stuff with these, but this isn't a class. So um, maybe enough, maybe for another video, maybe for another video. Well, that was interesting. So as you can see, it's not a bad kit overall. I do recommend the kit, but I would definitely make a lot of changes to it. Maybe I'll make a video for that. If you'd like to see a video of me making changes to this kit, let me know in the comments. I'll definitely do it, and I'll even share it with Rhino Rescue so that they can see what one of these is supposed to look like. Um, that's going to be about it. If you like what I'm doing, hit that thumbs up on your way out the door. Uh, subscribe to the channel. If you want to contribute, there are links down below. And until the next time, stay safe, have a great day, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.